Hi there. I came into a problem here. I got a new uh, new router for Christmas. It's used already. Um, that came with a couple adapter uh, handles. One's uh, to plunge, right? So you can actually push down and plunge in. And the second one uh, I've mounted onto this. What I had was a previous uh, table made for an original router that I had. And uh, unfortunately that broke, it broke down. And it was like a no-name router. And uh, I had a, a friend make this for me. He's a cabinet maker and uh, he probably had the right part. So this is an adapter plate to be able to mount to the actual, uh, uh, my old router. Well, I can't match up uh, my, my holes with this thing because I keep chipping and uh, I don't have the proper drill press and uh, I can't get the holes through this piece of plastic. So what I did is I abandoned that idea. I decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to mount it just to a piece of plywood. So all I did really was, uh, place my, uh, my mount, you know, onto a piece of plywood. I followed the screws down and I pushed them down so that they made impressions onto the actual, uh, plywood, took it off, saw the impressions, drilled through. And then, um, with those same screws, it came back the other way, right? So I just have two in there right now, probably need another one, um, for longevity. But uh, to put that in, right, now it's actually mounted. So that way I can just basically drop this in onto the top of my, uh, my table here. And then uh, depending on what I need, I can put the clamps either on the front or the back onto my table and mount that into place. So to get the hole, I basically used a, a regular bit, a plunge bit to be able to do that. And I used my, uh, my piece was able to drop that down. So I started off with uh, with either one of these um, types of bits, right? So that you can actually punch down and in. It's just basically a half inch or a three quarter bit, punch it down. And then of course, to create some clearance, I used uh, the best, uh, the biggest bit that I could find. And I have this one, which is a 45 degree angle bit. It's just nice and wide. So basically starting with this bit, I was able to clear the, uh, the bearing on the top and then I could plunge down and actually get that whole piece. So what you have, what you end up with is your router that pokes through here. And, uh, and then you have a nice basically tabled, uh, table router so that you can pass, uh, do a quarter round bit or uh, whatever you need. And you can just pass your material right into it. A lot easier than grabbing it and going around your material, clamping, wondering where your clamps are going to be, and then switching out and continue to do that. Found this is a lot faster. Once you have it set up, you can just keep using more and more material. So that's my fix. Um, call me MacGyver.